This is a 1928 Dodge four-door sedan. It's currently unrestored and has an interesting history. It was originally sold by the current owner's grandfather who owned a Dodge dealership in Kansas and uh, had gone in and out of the family ownership. Uh, his father bought the car back and then I think sold it to a friend and then it came back to the family again. So it's been in this family for a long time. It's uh, unrestored. Notice the artillery wheels there. There are wooden spokes on those wheels. Six cylinder engine. You notice the uh, springs there in the front. The car is uh, basically green with a uh, black trim. And of course, cars during this time had running boards. Now, the interior you can see is uh, original. A bit tattered, but original and not bad for being around since, uh, gee whiz, uh, we're coming up uh, close to 100 years. Notice how the windshield pushes out for ventilation. Notice the handbrake there and the gear shift on the floor. Notice the bows in the roof. Looks like original uh, roof uh, uh, lining there, covering. And the step on the uh, on the running board, and you'll see the pocket there. There's the pocket. You talk about pockets and doors. There's nothing new about that. They were doing it in 1928. And see how the wheels attach to that. Uh, to the uh, rim. There it mentions about the grandfather and his Kansas dealership. The uh, owner is content to keep the car in running condition and not necessarily restore it. Notice the gas tank in the back. Stop light with the license uh, plate bracket. And there is no trunk. Seldom do you get to see cars in there uh, with the original materials still intact. There tells a little bit about the hunt for the car when they were trying to reconnect with it. And there's a six cylinder flathead. Very interesting uh, story behind the car.